Hello everyone, I'm here today to help you out on how to use fmodel for Dead by Daylight. I'll show you how to export the characters and some other stuff you might want to know, so stick around till the end. The beautiful tutorial Mr. Moving to made last year is outdated, so I'm here to update you all. I'll upload a Blender importing and texturing tutorial soon as well. Just make sure that you don't use the JSON to text method in Blender 3.6 but the new FFUS texture add-on in Blender 4.4. I'll leave a link to that in the description and I'll be using it in the Blender tutorial. So. First we download fmodel, I'll leave a link to that in the description. I already have it installed so I'm cancelling the download. Once that's all done and you have it installed, let's start. You can ignore this pop-up for a new version, it's not really necessary, but don't ignore it forever. It might be helpful to update if your fmodel isn't working properly. In the top left, you can go to selector and this is what you'll see. First we have to change the Unreal Engine version to Dead by Daylight. The list is quite long, so what you can do is search for it by typing it in the box. There you go. Then you have to select the directory, and it's in here, inside the packs folder. What I like to do is pin the location on my file explorer, so I can always come back to it if needed. Then press OK. Now we will need the encryption key, which we can find in our Discord server. I'll leave an invite link to that as well. There it is. Copy paste it into the box. Uh oh, an error. As you can see, fmodel reset the game version, so change that back. This happens sometimes, so make sure to check your encryption key and selector after fmodel has restarted, or if you made some changes to it. All done, so now you should be able to get into the files. Load all and give it a second. Now, if we want to view the models in fmodel, we need to add a mapping file. Go to settings and turn on the local mapping file. You want to use the latest mapping file, which can be found in the server as well. I'll also leave a link to the GitHub page in the description. As of recording, 8.5.2 is the latest mapping file. As you can see, it's a little bit older, but it should still work. If it doesn't, the page is kept up to date, so a working mapping file should be uploaded when needed. Download and then select the file in your settings. Make sure these are your settings in fmodel. All done? Great, on to exporting. Let's try to find this Yunjin skin. For that, we want to go to the FAQ channel. I've made a list with the location of every character. It's a bit messy, but that's because behavior constantly changes the location. S25 is Yunjin and she's in the new location, which is this path in fmodel. There she is. And how do I find this specific skin? An easy way to do that is to go to the wiki and check the file name of the outfit. You can also go through the outfits in fmodel one by one. Outfit 009. Okay, easy. Then we go into models and first export our default hat. That doesn't change unless the skin is a whole new character. Then we get the hair. Then the legs. Then we can check if she has any accessories, and she does. Then we go to her torso. You can also check which textures are used here and what part they texture of the model by hiding it. Export. Check if she has any torso accessories as well. Live model shows where the files are exported to. You can press the link to see. The models and the textures are here. Mm -hmm. 
Then there's the material text file. In here, it will tell you which textures are used and where they are stored. This is helpful when you have a model with textures all over the place and you cannot find them immediately. One more important thing, because this question gets asked very often and it's easy to overlook. Make sure to check the package tab when selecting a folder and do not go in deeper. You can see the number on the folder icon which indicates how many files are in there. Now onto a few tips. The BC is the base color. The ORM stands for ambient occlusion, roughness and metallic. The end file stands for normal, which gives depth to the texture. And the M and A texture is the alpha texture, which is used to hide certain parts of a model, like making sure hair and fur doesn't look blocky. Over here is a search function. You can type in keywords if you're looking for something specific. In here are all the meshes from the charms, items, bobbies and maps. In here are all the survivor animations, including pirate specific ones and mores. Free colors of existing outfits usually have underscore 01 or 02 added to the original outfit name. This goes for textures and for models. Prestige textures are called P01 and are usually under outfit 01. It's possible there are some outfit 00 prestige textures. The variants folder is used for recolors, often the free one you get when you buy the DLC. In this location are all the icons for the character perks, add-ons, etc. And if you want access to the files from the PTB, you can only get those if you have it installed on your PC. This covers almost everything you need to know about exporting Dead by Daylight characters from FModel. I recommend you explore FModel and really try to find an answer if you have a question. But you can always ask something in the comments or in the server. I'll do my best to keep up with the comments on this video for at least a while. I hope this was helpful for newcomers and for the people who haven't exported Dead by Daylight stuff since UModel. Thank you for watching and make sure to check the description for everything used in this video. Good luck with exporting!